It's fun to be able to find things in the nighttime sky. You can use books or star charts to help you find things. But what if you want to describe where something is to somebody else? It's hard to say, well, it's kind of over there. Or if you look up above that tree where it's really black out, that's where you find it. You need a coordinate system. When you're graphing something, you typically use the XY coordinate system. So if you're looking at something that is two-dimensional and the sky appears to be a two-dimensional shape wrapped around us, if you're looking at something that's two-dimensional, you need two coordinates. With the sky, the two coordinates are altitude, how many degrees something is above the horizon, and azimuth, or how many degrees it is along the horizon. So I'm going to show you a simple way to do that. You've got the tools right here. It turns out that if you hold your fist out at arm's length, your fist held out at arm's length subtends an angle of about 10 degrees. So if you hold your fist in the sky from bottom to top, that is spanning 10 degrees. Your fingers range from 1 to 2 degrees. There's some fingers that I can't show you, so your pinky would be about a degree. Uh, thumb would be about 2 degrees. Spreading your hands out from thumb to finger is about 20 degrees. So if you spread your thumb out and finger like this, you're covering something that is 20 degrees. So let me show you how to use those tools in the nighttime sky. So let's say we're looking at something off in the distance and we want to know how high above the horizon it is. If we make a fist and we hold it out at eye level. You don't want to hold it down low, matching it up with the ground like this, because the ground uh, looks low when you're looking close to you, but you're looking up at something that is way, way off in the distance. So you want to hold your fist even with your eye. And this is your base right here. So this represents zero degrees. Make another fist, stack it on top, now the top of that fist is 10 degrees above the horizon. Stack another fist, that's 20 degrees. Another fist is 30 degrees. Another fist is 40 degrees. And you can test that out by measuring something that is 90 degrees. Let's check that out. I hold my fist straight out for the base even with my eyes, and I step up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90, straight overhead would be 90 degrees, and I counted out ten or 9 fists, and that is then 90 degrees. If you want to measure how far over something is, pick a cardinal direction. So right now I happen to be facing west. I'm going to hold my fist out. And it doesn't matter so much now if it is at eye level or down low, but I'll hold it at eye level. From the camera angle, it looks higher than eye level. So this right now, my fist is along the east-west line, and I'm looking west. So I make one fist. Now we've got 10 degrees, 20 degrees. 30 degrees. So this fist right here is 30 degrees south of west. So if I was trying to determine an altitude and an azimuth, I can count fists up. For altitude, I can count fists over for azimuth. So when you want to describe to your friend where something is located, you can tell them, I saw this great star or this great constellation at 30 degrees above the horizon and 20 degrees north of east. They can take their fists, measure up, measure over, and find your object. And if you and your friends really want to look like experts, you need to wear one of these cool Central Washington University Astronomy Club t-shirts with a picture of the moon taken from the Central Washington University Observatory.